The best handball players in the country make their way to the best outdoor three-wall park around for a showdown in the desert. The WPH Outdoor Three-Wall Clark Park is the venue as Killian Carroll, Sean Lenning, Luis Cordova, Shorty Ruiz, David Fink, Leo Canales, Dylan Hernandez, and more battle for the title of the WPH Icebreaker Challenge Champion. The men's and women's players battle each other and the Arizona Sun. We're going to find out who can take the heat and who can come out on top. The world players of handball outdoor action starts right now. We're at Clark Park in Tucson, Arizona. My name is Dave Vincent. Thanks for tuning in as we have more of this outdoor three-wall Clark Park action under the sun. David Fink going up against Sean Lenning in this semifinal. The winner will face either Shorty Ruiz or Killian Carroll in the final. It's a gorgeous Saturday in Tucson, Arizona. Sun is now approaching 90 degrees on the court well over 100, and there's that first serve from Sean. Best two out of three to 15. Breaker also 15, win by two. And there's that first point. Sean Lenning is the current and 11-time national three-wall champion, which is a record. Got a couple quick points against Dave Fink, who's never lost a match out here in tournament play. And it will be hard to win a match if you can't return a serve or get Sean Lenning out of that server's box. That ball was broken, by the way. And another great serve from Sean Lenning, who stops it as it projects toward his face. Three to zero. Wow. Incredible return right there from Sean, who goes back about as far as anybody has, has to go <laughs> before going into the gallery. And then he follows it up with a sliding ace serve down the right for a point. Sean's got unbelievable serves, indoor and outdoor. And he can score points quick. Dave is saying that he was screened there, but I'm not sure if that is the call on the court. Six to zero is the score here. So far, Dave Fink has not had a chance to serve. Oh, such a great shot from Sean. Just tethers that ball, sliding it off the right side wall, floats it across the front, and it goes right out the side door. That's something you need to put into your memory banks next time you're playing three wall. Seven to zero. Sean winning from Shoreline, Washington. Now approaching his mid-30s. Dave Fink approaching his mid-40s. These two have been rivals for many years. Look at that. Shot from Dave Fink, taking a little off, clips the side wall, loses about 30% of its speed, dies up front. And that's the first side out, first time we get to see Dave serve here. Dave is splitting time running the tournament doing live broadcasting and playing in the tournament and earlier in a live broadcast he said wearing sunglasses on a court that has shadows like this isn't a smart thing and then we saw him swing and miss on a ball coming out of those shadows Sean Lenning's serve is so good.
This is not the start Dave Fink wanted here. Open opportunities, missing him with his offhand. Sean's serve is so good it looks like a kill shot. And Fink just all out of sorts here. Sean's not giving him the same look on every serve. Just really throwing the ball around. Fink's not getting the same look on anything. Sean Lenny now at 12 to zero here in game number one. Six minutes. Now at 13 to zero. Fink saying that he's sorry about that throw and Sean confirming it. Oh, and that ball just squelches in. Sean d says it doesn't make it. Sean doesn't think this made it. I thought it did, but... And here it is, Sean Lenny serving to take game number one at 14 to zero, and he does it. Puts a zero on Dave Fink in game number one, and that only lasted seven minutes. Actually, six minutes and 47 seconds. And <laughs> Sean Lenning doing what he does best, and that is just roll through his opponents here in the semifinals, defeating Dave Fink 15 to zero in game number one of the Icebreaker Challenge in Tucson, Arizona. And we're back for game number two. The first one, six minutes and 47 seconds. And now we'll see if Fink can at least get these rallies going and get Sean Lenning out of that server's box. And he does immediately on that first sequence. Score is three to one in game number two. First game went to Sean Lenning, 15 to zero. Sean gets a point here, now make it a four to one with that right corner kill. Oh, that's a good serve there. Could be called a screen, but it was a good serve. Scores two to four. Look at what Dave Fink does here. Starting to push Sean and starting to get a little bit of a rhythm in this server's box. You see Sean breathing out of his mouth pretty hard here. We're all together at four.
Dave Fink has the first lead now. After he was up five to four, now six to four against Sean Lenning. And you can see there's a, a certain pace here that Fink has that he could not get comfortable with at all in the first game. Starting to settle in. And this is the Dave Fink we've grown to know and love. Now seven to four, going to 15, win by two. And a timeout being called by Sean Linning. Smart timeout call, in fact. You're watching the Ice Breaker Challenge in Tucson, Arizona at Clark Park, where we are underway outdoors with professional handball. David Fink and Sean Linning in the semifinals. This is game number two. Sean wins the first one. Fink now on a nice little run here in game number two. Score is nine to four. Sean saying to himself, why are you tired? The sun takes a lot out of you as well. Even if you aren't tired, the sun makes it seem that way. Sean goes in for a nice sort of slipping, diving kill shot here. He slips and realizes that this is just the best way to get the ball off, and he gets a side out. That ball was called long by the referee. And that's a double fault for Sean. Fink back into the service box at 10 to four. Oh, nice shot. Inside out, drills the ball down that left wall, hits it perfect, does Dave Fink. Both players down at about the 42 to 45 foot mark. So difficult to hit a shot like that. Short ball. Second serve on the way. Oh, nice pick up there from Fink. Sean is one of the very best players I've seen that could take a ball on the run deep and put it in a perfect spot to make you go onto defense immediately. Most other players just float balls up and you're just a sitting duck, but not with Sean. He puts you in a terrible position. And he was right there for that one. Amazing court coverage Sean has. They think he hit just a perfect shot though. Just air for air, dude. 
Dave Fink referring to himself as Dude in this tournament. He's used other describing words in the past. Maybe it's because we're outdoors and people are wearing sunglasses and it's a kind of a cool hangout today. Just rolling with his environment. Keeping his references current. Score was 10 to 5 and I believe that was a a point. Watch where this ball hits on that side wall. Perfect view down the corner. Just over. Point now 11 to 5. You pepper your opponent with these deep serves on the deep line and then you sneak one over on that short line. It's almost impossible for them to get it back. And that's that stiletto kill that Dave Fink has been known to have. Sean Linning floats this ball back and he just caught too much of that ball and swings it out right to the power zone of Dave who puts it away. Ah, I love that serve. So sneaky. Fink was trying to give that sort of fake that he's going to go down the left. Sean took a step forward. was going to try to cut off a ball that didn't exist. Dave swings it behind himself. And the ball has just enough hook to slice that wall for an ace. Now, this is where Sean's so good. Good quick feet from Fink. Sean's going to have to call a timeout here. It really does take a lot out of you when you run back deep to get those balls back and then have to run forward to stay in the, the rally and then have the rally go three or four more shots after that. You see Sean's really winded. But as winded as Sean is, I've never seen anybody able to compact their breathing and be on top of it as much as Sean Lenny. I mean, what looks like it's laboring to us isn't as much as it really is to Sean. We used to think Dave Fink or Dave Chapman had that sort of way of uh, regenerating after long rallies, recuperating his body and bouncing back so quickly. But Sean has that mechanism built in and another great serve by Lenning. Fink running for this ball. The recovery time of some of these pros is just absolutely amazing. Sean Lenning's got recovery right in the middle of a rally. He had it when he was young, he has it when he's older. Goes for another one of those shorter serves. Perfect first strike at another point now. Three in a row for Sean Lenning, plus that side out. Lenning's definitely on a roll. That ball hit Sean on the way in. Or it's broken, one of the two. Scores 8 to 14. Sean goes for the crack, gets it. 9 to 14. That ball just barely dipped in. There it is. Dave Fink takes game number two and forces a tiebreaker against Sean Linning. Sean wins the first one 15 to zero, but then Dave was able to push Sean back and forth and get comfortable in that server's box as he takes game number two. Score here 15 to nine as you see that score line of the first one. You're watching the Icebreaker Challenge in Tucson, Arizona in semifinals as we are back now for game number two. There's Clark Park. If you want to get involved in one of these tournaments, contact us at info at WPHlive.tv. We're trying to follow all of the local guidelines and rules as we navigate our way through the pandemic, holding these tournaments where the players are safe as well as the fans, really our number one priority. So 
get with us so we can talk about what you've done and what you're going to have to do in order to play in the tournament. If you want to play in a future event. Sean Linning jumping out to a quick 3-0 to zero lead here in the tiebreaker. Kind of taking off where some of that momentum he had in game number two left off, even though he lost it. He definitely picked up something there toward the end, and now he's got his fourth point. Fifth point. Oh, Sean dives in, just barely misses that. Watch this replay as we zoom in. It's a good shot there from Dave. You're watching the tiebreaker. You have to win by two as we go to 15. Pink called that short. Clark Park is located inside the Randolph Recreation Center in Tucson, Arizona. We're at 200 South Alvernon Way in Tucson. So if you're ever swinging by, make sure to stop by. It's a beautiful court facility. Both of these players are laboring at the moment. Both tired, the sun is really beaten down. Right before two o'clock in the afternoon here at Clark Park. There's a view of the barbecue pit area with Scott Cleveland and Jim Vernaghi. Is that ball over? Unbelievable serve once again from Sean Lenning. Just a laser down that right wall. We're at 10 to 4, going to 15. That was a little reverse down that wall. Somehow I get the feeling Sean's setting Dave up for a serve to be named later. Where he's going to throw one to the left and let it slide out the door. Maybe go deep. 
Again to the right. Sean's automatic right now. No timeout called from Dave Fink. He lets this ball drop, goes over the top, swings it down that right wall. Beautiful shot from Sean Lenning. That ball is deep, long. Sean really powered it up for that one. Missed it, though. Side out. Fink back in. Sean thinks the ball's broke. 4 to 13. Going to 15. Yeah, Sean brings up a good point. He knew it was broken before. He couldn't find the break. They played it anyway, and five shots later, the ball broke. Frustrating. No doubt about that. This is the tiebreaker, and the winner will face either Shorty Ruiz or Killian Carroll in the finals of icebreaker number eight. To read more about this tournament and to watch these matches in their entirety. And that ball made it. Dave saying it's down, but let's see what happens here. Ball clips the front wall. Definitely good there. And they're not taking it. Maybe it was something I didn't see. Not quite sure what's going on here at all. Sean, oh, he calls it deep. I got gotcha. you. Dave almost hit the exact serve from previous. Sean hitting the floor one more time. This time, watch what he does here. This is a little bit more of that traditional four-wall indoor dive. Can't say that Sean doesn't want to win this match. short ball. Sean two points away from advancing. Oh, unbelievable shot. Dave Fink giving Sean a sideways slap. He thinks that's the last point, but there's still one more to go. Doesn't really matter. There it is. Sean Lenning advancing now to the finals to face either Killian Carroll or Shorty Ruiz, defeating Dave Fink here at Clark Park in icebreaker number eight semifinal. 15 to zero game one, lost game two, nine to 15, and wins game number three, 15 to six. For the world players of handball, thanks for tuning in. I'm Dave Vincent. We'll be back with more action at Clark Park in Tucson. Stick with us.